Sagittarius. Hope y'all doing good. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're going to start out here with um, some love. I haven't done it in a little while, but we're going to do love here for a little bit. If, if Whoever's in my channel and knows how I uh, read. Hold on, I'm fixing the cards. I don't know what happened. Whoever knows how I read, y'all know that I channel. So when I channel, I don't know what's going to come out. If it's general, it's general. If it's something positive, positive. Negative, negative. If it's love, it's love. Whatever it is. You know, so I can't control my channeling, but I've been trying to control it lately, and it's been difficult because, you know... I'm trying not to say crazy things because I'm trying to focus more on love here. I haven't done it in a very long time, more than a year. So let's see here. Even though in my messages, love comes out for many different reasons. I don't know. Why are you sitting on my phone, Morningstar? That's my cats. They're in here. They love when I do tarot. It's crazy what they're doing here. Okay. Let's see. Sagittarius. My Sagittarius. What's going on here? Minera. Okay. There's one. In reverse there's the other one so you got forgiving and learning and you got a reverse let's read it you got flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others so you know forgiving and learning you know i feel like you're releasing a lot of things from the past i feel like you're releasing you know a lot of things that you know, things that have happened to you from the past. I feel like you either you've learned how to forgive or you've forgiven and then even know how you forgave. Because I feel like an energy here that it's like something happened in the past really bad or something bothered you really bad or was something very severe. But it's like it doesn't bother you anymore. Even though sometimes you think about it and you cry about it and it's like at that moment. But then it's like, boom, it's out of there. So those are those are ways that I see in myself because there's no fully healing. I don't care what tarot reader, I don't care what psychic, I don't care who says there's fully healing. There never is fully healing. But I feel like the way that I have seen myself heal is like when I don't really think about things anymore. I don't care about it. Yes, yeah, sometimes I cry about it. Sometimes I get upset and not even upset. It's like why why did that happen? But then I just keep on moving on. That's a little bit of healing that. I know I've brought to myself and I don't even know how it's happened because I don't put myself to heal. I never do nothing for myself, period. I do more for others than myself. But this is the kind of energy of the example of myself that I'm picking up here for somebody. You know, I feel like, you know, flirting in reverse is like at some point you were in this flirting energy or somebody was in a flirting energy and it's like you don't want to do that. It's like you, you want to forgive more and you want to... You want to move more to learning spiritually about yourself, about your life, about whatever, and heal. I feel like there's more healing here than even flirting or looking for a commitment. And even if you are in a commitment, I feel like you're, I don't know, I'm picking up like somebody here. If you're in a commitment, it's like you don't feel that energy from the beginning, the chemistry, the flirting, how it should be. You want more attention or somebody here wants more attention from you. Sagittarius. That's what I'm feeling from that flirting card in reverse. It's like, it's okay to flirt. It says something like that. I don't remember what the card said. Let me see. Let me read it. It says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. You know, it's like exactly what I'm saying. It's like you're more focused on healing yourself and moving forward in the best way that you can in this easy world. But it's like you're not really, even if you're committed or in a relationship, it's like that energy of like... Let's flirt. It's a spontaneous thing. It's not there. It's either you or this person that's not doing it. Okay, this one flew out. The King of Pentacles. Nice. Nice, Sagittarius. Let's see. Justice. Tower. Okay, there's going to be here. A, there's going to be a surprise here for somebody with that tower. Justice is coming in. You know, you're starting off with the King of Pentacles. Success. Money. Stability. Happiness. You know, moving forward, building, whatever it is. If you want to build a tower, an empire, you know, a small business, a, a, a whatever it is, it's here. You're doing yourself. You're focusing on yourself. Exactly how those cards came out. You're focusing on yourself. There's justice coming in here for a situation that has you or had you in a moment of, like, distress, worrying a lot. 
but there's going to be a shock to somebody here because justice is coming in, karma is coming here for somebody. You know, it's like a lot of, you know, you're getting a lot of revelations about things here. You're getting a lot of like spiritual awakenings here with the tower card. It's like destruction energy. You know, people that try to destroy you or destroy your life or a person that was with it tried to destroy you. But even if they did, justice is coming in. So karma is going to hit them in the ass 10 times full for whatever the hell's going on here you know and you're moving forward beautifully with the king of pentacles here you know doing yourself not giving a damn and what goes around comes around is what i'm picking up here you know you know what's done is it always gets paid you're going to be, listen, the six of wands here. You're going to be recognized. You know, if there's something you want to do new, a platform, a business, you want to retire, or you want to get on YouTube and be a crime true storyteller, whatever it is. I don't know why I said that, but whatever it is, a singer, a dancer, whatever it is, you're going to be seen publicly. So if you're trying to get in a way, like open a business or get online or whatever it is, you're going to make it. It's going to, look, the ace of wands, the bottom of the deck, new beginnings. Ending of old cycles, of negative cycles. Beautiful reading for now. And I'm going to say for now like that because I don't know what she's going to bring out next. Because I read out of different energy. Remember, there's a thousand million Sagittarius in this world, okay? And even your rising, your moon, any, any part of your chart. You know, you're going to be recognized here with pride, okay? So pride comes first to you. You have a lot of pride, Sagittarius, here. You know, and your pride takes you to many places. Your pride gives you justice is what I'm hearing here. You know, you're a person that your pride comes first before anything. Sometimes you let your pride down, you know, to balance people's scales. But you have to start putting that pride down and stop being that vulnerable person and putting your scales down. Even though you're not a Libra, you might have a Libra in your trouble. It doesn't matter. It's still a card. And it's what she's telling me. Stop balancing people's life because you need to balance yours. And I feel like you're starting to do that. I feel like these towers, you know, somebody might be conflicted. Somebody might be a person that doesn't stop. Somebody might have betrayed you in many different ways. But it's like you're standing up for yourself and you're going to be publicly recognized. You have your spiritual guides here guiding you. Okay? Judging you is not the best thing to do right now. So whoever the fuck is judging a, oh God, judging a Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or anything in their chart that is significant, they're going to get it ten times fold. I am telling you right now. You might be dealing here with um, a Leo. For some reason, Leo popped up very strongly in my head. I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with a deal that's messing you up. You got the Knight of Cups here. You know, the Knight of Cups celebrating, you know, bringing love, romantic gestures. And you might have a proposal here about with somebody here. You know, I feel like you're not even looking for love. I feel like you just on a hold and pause for some reason. I feel like, you know, this is something that you want, but you want a person that's right. You want a person that balances you out. You want a person that stands like the king of pentacles, male or female. You want a person that, you know, could see you how you are. The compliments, the compliments that you give is what you want them to like either, you know, team up with you or recognize it and help you build up here. You know, you're a very creative person here on the Knight of Cups. Something is coming your way, maybe even a person, a love interest. Somebody's going to come your way without you even recognizing it. Because when you don't start looking for things, things start coming to you. You're a very realistic person, they're saying here. Mineira, what else here for um, Sagittarius? There might be a proposal of some job or business or something. Or, like I said, it could be love. Like, the Ace of Cups is here. Somebody here, you know, I don't know. The Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. It's like, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you know, it's like a person that's doing themselves, a person that's nurturing themselves, a person that knows how to give it to themselves. I feel like with this card coming out, it's like you've given too much to others and ignored yourself for quite some time. If you ain't doing it already or still. You know, the Ace of Cups is here. Somebody's going to come into your life. And it might be just true love that comes in, you feel me? But be careful with the conflictions. If you see a person with drama, off rip, or they're always in the drama, and they're not in the drama, and they get there some of the drama some type of way, there is drama going on behind in the background. Because there's no... Uh, let me explain it in some way where you could uh, understand it. I don't put myself in drama anymore. I ignore I stopped talking to everybody eight years ago. 
And five years ago, I cut it off for everybody. I cut that game real hard. But some sometimes drama comes to me. And it's either because somebody's around me or somebody's talking shit that I don't talk to anymore or something from the past came in. Why the fuck do you want to go to the past and bring it up 20 years later or 10 years later or 5 years later? And something could be happening here with somebody here, Sagittarius. But I see a lot of love here. And I feel like somebody here didn't nurture you right. Didn't give you what you wanted. Didn't do it right. You know, but then in a cup, somebody did not nurture you right. And you're looking for, you're looking right now through yourself, but you're waiting for this. That's why it's in reverse, I feel. The world card is in the bottom of the deck. New beginnings coming in the ending of a lot of cycles here. They're not meant for you. They're not your energy. They were never meant for you. But I feel like it was a learning lesson for you here. The page of swords. You know, <laughs> I can't. Like, somebody's going to write you a message either by text, letter, or they're going to communicate with you. But somebody here wants to lock it down with you. I ain't even going to lie. Like, whoever it is that you're with, or whoever it is that you met here, you need to like, or whoever it is that you're not even looking for, because sometimes you don't look, I don't look for anybody, and things come to me. I reject them, I accept them if I want them. I reject it if I feel some type of way. I reject it just because I'm doing my own thing sometimes. But you got the Seven of Cups here. There's a lot of things going on here with you, Sagittarius. Very beautiful reading. You know, it's like, you have a lot of options here, whether it's money, a business, you know, work. Uh, related but love also there's a lot of people here that you don't even know that they're looking at you and like I want to be with Sagittarius like I I'm feeling Sagittarius and you might not even know because I'm picking up more I'm picking up one two three people that want you here that want your attention here or maybe three people you met already you feel me it's like somebody wants your attention here it could end up into true love loving yourself is a big part of this um reading it's like you're loving yourself more but romance is coming in here too. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. You know, it's like somebody didn't love you right here. And somebody did not see your self-worth. And for that, they're going through this. They can't nurture themselves. They can't do nothing for themselves. Because now you're going to do yourself. And that's why karma is coming in here for somebody here. You got the Ten of Wands in the bottom of the deck. You know, caring too much for too many people, which you shouldn't. You got Scorpio here, uh, Pisces, wa um, P Pisces, water, and Cancer. Are you serious? Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. More water here. Leo, Aquarius. Aries. She was telling me something. Um, Libra. You got somebody here that because of so many burdens you carry for them or so many family members, you know, it could be um, friends too, because you carry so many burdens and there's so much, now they're going to start receiving that karma back. They're going to carry too many burdens and there's no stopping that. So they're going to get a 10 times cold Sagittarius, whatever this is that I'm picking up on. Or it could be you, Sagittarius, it doesn't matter. You know, I could be picking up on you, Sagittarius, a crosswatch or a third party, somebody that's around you, it doesn't matter, but it could be you, Sagittarius, too. Let me see what else we need. I hear for such a take this. This came out of the fence. Yeah. You need a lot of rest here. It's like things are when they start moving around. You know, for some reason, you get overwhelmed, you know, overstressed, you know, where it takes you down to a moment where you don't want to talk to nobody, you want to speak to nobody, you don't want to even, like, interact with anybody, you just go down. Because somebody here has you in that energy or had you in that energy, but it's something like they're still trying to get into the energy. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. No, not the Ten of Pentacles. I can't see a damn thing in here. You got the two of pentacles here. You got on the side the page of cups here. And you got the queen of pentacles here. Male or female. You're in that queen of pentacles. And there's another deck. So this is telling me that you might meet somebody which is a perfect couple. The king and the queen of pentacles. Because the king of pentacles is in the other deck. There's a new deck. So, you know, whoever's coming into your life, whoever you meet, make sure it's the right one. Make sure that chemistry is there and not even the chemistry or the passion. Make sure you know that this person is with you on board all the motherfucking way. Because king and queen of pentacles is the perfect match. Success, happiness, building together, getting on top together. You know, teamwork, you know, planning together and making things ever ha happen together. So I feel like 
Sagittarius, you've been waiting for a long time for true love. I feel like it's coming in, but it's coming in with a person that has your same mindset. You know, there was juggling here in the past with somebody you were with, or there's somebody juggling you right now. They're cheating. And they're making negotiations behind your back that you don't even know. They might be even using your own money to make negotiations with somebody here, and it's somebody here that they might be dealing with romantically here with the Page of Cups. And this has you in some type of way, like, drained or... You're seeing that money's missing or something's going on here with this uh, two of pentacles. They're negotiating with somebody that they're romantically involved with here. And they've done it with your money. The cards don't even mean that. I'm just telling me what they're giving me. Yeah, the eight of wands is like, you know, going through a lot of turbulence, you know, a lot of storms, a lot of chaos and shit. But you're gonna get that resolved because the, with the king of Pen with the queen of pentacles here, the king of pentacles, you know, everything that I'm seeing here. Yes, yeah, so you're a little bit stressed. You get overstressed and tired, and it's like you're asking questions to yourself. But I feel like your answers are coming through. I cannot make shit up. <laughs> the happiest card in the deck, the sun card. Like, I can't make shit up. You're going to get your happiness, whether whoever likes it or not. There it is, the four of pentacles. It's like, you know, a little bit of money problems, a little bit of like, you know, holding on is what I'm picking up. Holding on to I don't know what. But there is a little bit of money problems here. It's going to happen. It's going to bring you to your happiness. There's lessons you need to be learned. I feel like somebody has been juggling your money. And I feel like somebody's been using your money. And there's an emperor coming in here in the bottom of the deck. It might be with another person, like I said. An emperor, a person that wants money, that negotiates with a person to receive money. Whatever it is, it's either, you know, give me this, give me that. Or they might just be doing having sex for money. You know, or doing things for that person for money or whatever it is. But somebody here is not being truthful behind the scenes. They deal with somebody that's a broke-ass motherfucker or a broke-ass bitch. And they giving the money. And this, this person that they're dealing with is happy-go-lucky. Because they're receiving a lot from this person. But actually, whoever the fuck they're dealing with is drained here. Because they know they're being used. But at the end of the day, why do you... Why would why would somebody continue getting used? The Ace of Pentacles. They, it's about money. And they're keeping quiet with the Hermit card here. They're not saying nothing. No answers. It's like they're, they're, somebody here. It's like you Sagittarius of this person. It's like I feel like it's you Sagittarius. It's like you're thinking about your next moves, your next steps, quietly, silently, and not telling anybody what you're doing. There's things that you tell, but there's things that you keep secretly. Even to your most trusted person, you know, you won't say everything. You just say a few things. That's the best thing you do because people don't need to know everything. And you are going to be successful with money here. Money's coming in. But somebody here's not speaking. They're being quiet about what they're doing. I don't know why she's telling me to shut down, but I don't know. There's something going on here. You know, your happiness was destroyed by somebody here. It's like you were happy at some moments, but at some moment, this person had you. Like, you know, you would be half happy and everything would flip sideways in a matter of seconds. And your happiness was over. And there comes the stress. You know, the worrying that why the fuck and having you drained. Because this person is just very conflictive, whoever I'm picking up here. They want to sit down and have it all. You feel me? But there's somebody here. Look, the king of pentacles in the bottom of the deck. Again. And this is another deck. You're going to come into some big ass money, Sagittarius. If you haven't gotten it yet, yo, listen. Or whoever I'm picking up here. Because I could be picking up on the cross watcher. But somebody here is going to come up with big money. And it's, it's going to be, it's going to make you. Not because money makes you happy or maybe you're materialistic. I don't know, said Sagittarius. Maybe somebody's materialistic here. Maybe somebody's in love with money. I don't. So I see it different. But somebody here is going to be very happy with money. Success is coming in. A lot of money's coming in. Yeah, it's like you're just going with the flow and letting everything happen. But somebody here most definitely is jumping over and doing some things they're not supposed to be doing. The Ace of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. Man, Sagittarius, what the fuck? Like, I love this reading. It's a very positive reading. Very, very, very successful reading. You're going to come in. The Ace of Cups came out twice already in the bottom of the deck. I mean, it's not on the table, but coming out twice for me is like, you're going to get a, a load of money. Bags of money are coming in. I'm not saying that bags literally are going to come in with money, but some money is coming in here for your hard work and dedication or whatever you're doing here. 
It might be so. It might be so. But somebody, if somebody here is willing to help somebody for some reason, it's like somebody's coming in to offer you something. It might be a new job, a, a sidekick, a side job, whatever it is, take it. Because somebody here is coming in with an offer and it's going to give you a lot of abundance here. It might be this person coming into your life. It might just be a friend. It might be a soulmate. A soulmate could be anybody. Friends, family, you know, kids. Kids give you luck. Your kids, if they're innocent, if they're less than 13, they give you luck. Remember, once they hit puberty, they're not innocent anymore. Until seven years old, kids are still living their past life. We all are. Until seven years old. Once you hit seven years old, you know, you're living this current life. That's why when we have, like, in my religion, I was born crown. Until I was seven, they couldn't pull out my father on my chest because chung is in my head and my my chest so goon so they couldn't do it until seven because we're still living our past lives the two of cups is in here reverse this person that you were dealing with or that you had a fallout with was juggling the whole time it's like they didn't see you to be their partner their love their true love it's like they were dealing with somebody else but i feel like you don't give a damn sagittarius but somebody here most definitely is juggling juggling meaning Cheating. The Queen of Cups in the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody here is cheating. I feel like you were a person that used to be a juggler or a player. Or you were in those scenes like you would date people over and over again and wouldn't be committed. But at this time, it's like, you know, I feel like you want to keep your options open is what I'm picking up here. The King of Cups is in the bottom of the deck. And the Queen of Cups just came out on the bottom of the deck. This is a very, very, very interesting reading here. Don't. Don't ignore signs. Don't ignore things that are around you. Because some type of luck is coming your way. I don't know why I'm seeing that with that King of Cups. Because it has nothing to do with the card. But I'm seeing some type of luck. And you might miss it. So look at everything. Follow everything. In the roads, in the street, in your house, showering, sitting down, watching TV. Look for signs everywhere. Somebody here is not an interest for you anymore or they're not interested in you anymore. They're looking to jump over to something new. And I feel like they're juggling, they're cheating, and they might not even tell you. And it could be in a Listen, people say, oh, no, because they're with me all day. Nah, listen. You can walk out the door, throw out the gra the the grass. Are you serious? Well, maybe somebody needs um to ground here for me saying grass. But I feel like, listen, you can go out real quick. Three minutes is a quickie. You feel me? And, you know, whatever. One minute is a quickie. People can do things anywhere, right in front of your house. I've seen it done. At work, wherever. Let me see. Yeah, the nine of cups, the, the nine of pentacles. You're doing yourself, nurturing yourself. You're more, you're more interested right now in yourself. The whole reading is saying it. It's about you, Sagittarius. You want to be nurtured the right way. You want to do things the right way. You're trying to build up your money, stability, to bring stability into your life. You're trying to bring happiness, and your happiness is going to come in, but it's not going to be with this person. Whoever you're dealing with here, it's not going to be with this person. This person, no matter what happens, has no love. They have no love here. They're more like a person that shows love to a certain extent, and then they backstab somebody in the back for some reason. And this this has you in some sort of way, or had you, like very drained at some point. Or it drains you every time this person comes around. It's like a feeling of like something's up here. Your sun card is right in the middle. And, you know, happiness doesn't mean you're going to have everything in the world. You're going to be super happy, like everything's coming in. The queen of wands is coming in the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Be careful with somebody here being very sneaky, very confident. Looking at themselves like, I look good, or whatever the fuck. Or you see them in a way like, oh, damn, you know, what's up? Nah, they're conniving. They will flip on you. Let me throw one more card here. I know what it means, but I want to... I've been trying to do this without tarot. Like, trying to tarot, like, people tarot down without channeling, and it's hard for me to do. Let me see. Can you confirm this two of cups in reverse for me? Minera. Hmm. This came in reverse. The two of swords in reverse. Somebody here is open. Somebody dropped their walls to continue moving for themselves. Somebody here dropped their walls. Somebody here is seeing very clearly of what they want. 
And somebody here is going after somebody that's either they're nurturing or they're, or they're getting nurtured. But they are dealing with a person that was going to stab them in the back, that's going to fuck them up, that's going to reverse everything on them. They don't care. So whoever your person, if you had a fallout, jumped over to somebody else or an ex that you don't give a damn about anymore, they're going to get it. They're dealing with somebody here that's doing the same thing they did to you. They're cheating on them too. But somebody here opened their eyes and unblocked, you know, everything that was going on. There might be things going on here behind your back. Spells, voodoo, magic, whatever it is to stop you from manifesting. It's not going to work. Justice is here. Karma is here. Okay. So, like, I feel like, man, they're going to get a 10 times full. I keep on hearing out of my head. Sagittarius, I love this reading for you. Keep on going. And whoever here doesn't love you, whoever here you see anything going on that you don't like, whatever you're picking up, if there's an intuition telling you something's wrong, listen, listen to your intuition. Don't let your intuition confuse your ego. Okay, because sometimes the ego could be very confusing from the intuition, you feel me? So if you feel like something's off or something's wrong, your intuition is telling you something's off, something's wrong. You need to find out what it is. You're a person that likes stability, money, the good things. The good things in life. To be able to take care of yourself, your family, whatever it is. And somebody here is not about that life. They've never been. They string along with others to be about that life. And that's not the way you do it. You got to be your own person. Build your own stability. And I feel like some, But you're doing good, Sagittarius. Damn, you're going to get it all. Like, there's somebody... But there's somebody here you got to be careful for, man. Somebody that's broke. Somebody that don't have no money. Somebody here that's using somebody. Somebody here that's taking... That's trying to take happiness here from somebody here. But I could tell you this. Whoever here's been juggling you and doing the wrong thing to you. They're going to be stuck here without nothing. Nothing. When I tell you they're going to be stuck with nothing, they ain't going to have nothing. They're not going to have no options, no money. It's like they're getting it bad. Let me see. What is here for um You'll be dealing here with a Capricorn, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, um, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Leo, Capricorn again, Virgo, Taurus, Libra again, let me see, what else here, you got the clock here, time is ticking, <laughs> time is ticking here, Sagittarius, it takes time, okay, to heal, so if somebody's trying to heal here, it takes time to heal, and there's never fully healing, you know, people here don't fully heal. They might heal to they might heal to a point where you know nothing doesn't bother anymore, but the inside there's still something going on. Let me see. You got the clock here. Okay. You got girl talk here, which could be for a man too, you know? Buddy talk, whatever man talk. And you got the coffin here. So you're ending cycles here. New beginnings are coming. You know, you're doing changes here. Or changes are gonna come to your life that you're not even gonna realize it when they come. You need to talk more with your friends. If you got any, and I'm going to say that again, if you got any friends or anybody you trust, but I feel like the only friends you got is your spiritual guys, your ancestors, your higher self, even though the card says girl talk and I'm going to read it because I don't even know what this card says. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, loving in the moment, have, have fun. So yeah, you are having fun. You're loving the moment. You're being single. You're trying to do your things, but I feel like. If you're going to talk to anybody, if you know somebody is really trustworthy, if you know this person is a person you could talk to, talk to a friend. But I've seen 30-year relationships of friendship that will they will stab you worse than an enemy at the end. You feel me? I would talk to my higher self is what I'm picking up from that. You got the clock here. And you, you know, with the coffin, is like ending of cycles. An ending, an ending for somebody here. Because, you know, transi transition is taking place here in some form. New beginnings are coming for you. You know, if somebody's trying to heal here from the past, from things that have been going on, from things they did to you, for something that's going on currently, you know, it takes time to heal. It's a process. You need to, like, put more effort in healing here. Because there could be money, there could be stability, it could be everything, a house, cars, whatever it is, living life, whatever, but you could be deeply depressed inside. 
Okay. Let me see what's going on in the bottom of the deck. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. Ego issues. Jealousy. Somebody is very jealous where they go overboard uh, with the jealousy. Or you were with somebody committed that was overboard in the jealousy. Like severely jealous, obsessed. A person that was self-sabotaging not only themselves but you. And it's like you're tired of that. It's like you don't want that anymore. You either moved on from a person here, you're still with this person. You're looking good. If you get away from a person that's toxic like this, you're going to move good. You know, it's like a relationship that's, frust that's frustrating. That's frustrating you in some type of way. You know, you have lack. Somebody has, has lack of confidence. It's like sometimes they might even, you know, I, oh my God. Sometimes they might even make you feel like you're not worth anything. Your confidence goes down. Even though your confidence can be up 24-7 like mine's. They could bring your confidence down. Just by their words or their actions. Over the hill, I'm, I'm picking up here. But somebody opened their eyes here to the truth and it's going to keep on going. Sagittarius, I feel like that's you and I love this. Hold on. Or you're going to open your eyes and see the truth and keep on going. Because somebody here most definitely is doing some cheating with somebody else you're not seeing it and it's like you're minding your own business and they're doing it very slickly this person is very slick they know how to do it and they know how to do it very quietly where nothing is happening here somebody's helping them and they're laughing about it they're talking shit about it and they're you know actually they don't want you with this person who it is it could be friends it could be families it could be your own um i don't know but somebody here is pregnant Somebody here is going to get pregnant. If you go out on the scenes, if you're dating, if you're having one night stands, if you're doing your own little thing, be careful you don't get pregnant or you don't get somebody pregnant and get yourself caught in a situation here. Or somebody is currently pregnant right now looking at this reading here and somebody walked away. Or they're a problem. Give me one more. She gave me two. So you got here. I know you're right. But I need to come to my own conclusions. So somebody here knows you're right. Morningstar. Well, look at Morningstar right there. He's so cute. Somebody here knows you're right. They're coming to their own conclusions. But at the end of the day, they're going to stay stuck like a motherfucker and get a lot of karma coming back to their ass, whoever this is. Let me see. Or it might be you, said so that you're coming up with your own conclusion. You need time to think. But I feel like, you know, I feel like you're doing your own thing. And you need to come up with your own things before even continuing with all this mess. And I feel like you're doing that already. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So somebody here is doing themselves completely. And somebody here is not liking that. Somebody is questioning that. You feel me? And if you move down already and they keep on bothering you, hey, listen, let it go. You're doing yourself. Exactly how their cards are saying. Let me see. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So, yeah, they've been lying the whole time. They can't say the truth. They don't have what it takes. I was going to say something else. They don't have what it takes to say the truth to you or whatever's going on here. And even if they were caught, they will still lie. It's like a narcissist. Patholog oh, God. A patholog oh, God. They don't want me to talk here. It's like a pathological lying, like a narcissist liar is what I'm picking up here. Look up narcissist liar. Because I'm feeling like narcissist liars coming in here. And there is narcissist liars. Look it up on YouTube. It'll give the explanation. Pick up the signs of your person or whatever it is. Whoever it is that I'm picking up on here. I'm in a much better space right now. Space now. This is you, Sagittarius. You're in a much better space now. My heart is telling me just to do it. It's the bottom of the deck. So whoever you're here, you're connecting to, your heart might just be telling you, go for it, do it, you know. But you need to, like, focus on yourself first. And you're, I think you're already doing that. I feel like, you know, I don't know why I'm picking baseball here or somebody plays softball or somebody's kid or something or college or high school or just whatever you did in the past. It might be a good um, meditation for you to go out there and play a baseball, a softball, whatever it is, or something with a ball, football. It doesn't matter. It might be... You know, an exercise you need that you like or that you are interested in, you look at. It might be something you need to do to release stress here. I don't know why that came up, but it did. It's always something comes up. You got a C that was left in there. Let me see. You got a T here. You got a Y here. You got a K. Okay? 
You got an X here. You got, and no, this could be first, middle, last initial for you, the person you're thinking about, anybody here in this reading, the cross watcher, whoever's in here. Um, even nicknames. You got an O here. You got an A here. You got an N, which could also be a Z. Okay. You got another A here. Okay. So that's double A on the table. You got another A, that's triple A. So A is very uh, significant in this reading. For somebody you got a q okay you got a g here you got a lot of letters i like that you got a g here you got an l you got a t that's double t on the table you got um you got i that could also be an h okay and you got a b you got a lot of good letters i like when they come out not so um Doubled up because this T's doubled up, uh, and these two, this you got three A's on the table. I'm gonna flip them and see what I can get you. You got a Z here that could also be an N. You got another A, so this A is very significant. It came right back, so now you got double A's, and you got an O here. You got double O, so I'm gonna flip this O and this A because this A is bothering me here. That O came back. And an E came in, okay? An E. I love you all. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.